just had a required um, survey for all medical students one year. And one of the questions, I think it was the last one, asked about if you had experienced abuse during your medical school rotations. And the answer was like a unanimous yes. And our medical school like had to react to this data and was like, oh, I remember reading this email, we, we've had a disturbing revelation that it's very common for students to have reported abuse and, and we just, we need, to, we need to convene a task force to, to, to address this. And I was kind of like, wow, you guys, are you serious? Is this like news to you? Like you went through medical school, like how can you not be realizing this? So, and I remember it was like, okay, special task force meeting on uh, medical, medical student abuse was like at a certain time. And I was like, I think it was a third year medical student at the time, which, you know, newsflash, you have no time to do anything. And I was like, okay, I'll make that meeting. Guess, guess still just go on without my two cents. And was sort of, you know, another disempowerment, like uh, you, you, you acknowledge out loud that I undergo abuse. And yet the only way I could tell you about it would be go to this meeting that I am scheduled to do something else at the hospital during. So thanks a lot, guys. And um, what I wanted to tell them, what I wanted to tell them is that there is a problem in how medical students are treated as being ignorant and incompetent. And if there's a strange disconnect between the type of people they recruit to medical school who are like the creme de la creme of people who are highly motivated, highly driven, highly intelligent, and highly systematic in achievement and they're, they somehow are treated like they're incompetent. There's this whole phenomenon of having to stand around as a medical student, not being able to say, hey, can I leave now? I'm not doing anything. Because if you say that, it is perceived as not committed to the team or something, even if you stand around for like four and a half hours not doing anything. So there were just so many times where I felt this like anxiety and stifledness of inefficiency. I'm not doing anything. Nothing's happening. I don't have patients to take care of. Residents are sort of floating around doing paperwork things that I'm not involved in. No one's taking me to go do stuff. There's no patients for me. There's nothing to be learning. And yet I can't go take care of myself and exercise, go grocery shopping, do my laundry, relax for a moment, spend time with a friend to fortify myself for the, the work that will be done when it is there. So the hours that I s spent standing around wanting to smash my head against the wall in medical school, both not learning and not being allowed to take care of myself was so frustrating. I still feel traumatized.